All right, so good morning. It's on the Daily Dose here today, and it's interesting. Um, the last, yesterday's Daily Dose, we spoke about Ezekiel 36, 26. And I'll never forget, I was um, going through a couple themes. So I think I went through the theme of light and uh, growth and then anger. And I remember getting to this part of anger, and I don't know how many days I was in, maybe, I don't know, 120 days or something couple months. And I remember sitting at McDonald's asking the Lord, okay, Lord, you know, what's the next theme you want me? I didn't really have a theme. I didn't have a direction. I guess, um, have you ever felt directionless? <laughs> That's my point. I felt a little directionless. And I remember reading Ezekiel 36, 26, the, the verse that we looked at yesterday. And I felt like the Lord said to me, Adam, I want you to focus on your heart. I was like, okay. And, and I felt really good about that. Because if you remember that scripture, it, 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 yes, I was using it as anger, but it talks about a heart, taking a stone heart for a flesh heart, right? A heart of flesh. And so anyways, I had this theme when it came to my heart. And the very first passage that the Lord led me to um, was Psalm 51. Now, Psalm 51 is a confession psalm. It's around David, who had uh, murdered Uriah the Hittite, who was the husband of Bathsheba. The reason he did that was to cover up his adultery with Bathsheba. It's a really, whew, you talk about a mess. King David got himself in a mess. And so um, I was in a place of a mess, and I thought to myself, well, Lord, um, I should go back to Psalm 51 and, and, and read that. Well, just so happened, I decided to read it in the message, and this passage just came alive to me. So this passage was so fundamentally um, instrumental in my heart being changed, purified. I, I don't even know how, I don't know the right word to put toward it. I All I can tell you, and if you grew up in church, then you know Psalm 51, read it in the NIV or read it in the version that you grew up in. That's great. All right, phenomenal. Maybe do that first, okay? But listen to how the, the message paraphrase, how Eugene Peterson puts it in Psalm 51. Just listen to these words. And maybe you just want to close your eyes. Here it is, Psalm 51, 7 through 15. Soak me in your laundry and I'll come out clean. Scrub me and I'll have a snow white life. Tune me into foot tapping songs. Set these once broken bones to dancing. Don't look too close for blemishes. Give me a clean bill of health. God, Make a fresh start in me. Shape a Genesis week from the chaos of my life. Don't throw me out with the trash or fail to breathe holiness in me. Bring me back from gray exile. Put a fresh wind in my sails. Give me a job teaching rebels your ways so that the laws can find their way home. Commute my death sentence, God my salvation, God, and I'll sing anthems to your life-giving ways. Unbutton my lips, dear God. I'll let loose with your praise. Wow. Even as I read it now, I can remember daily reading that passage and so many different elements speaking to me. From God shape a Genesis out of the chaos in my life. Whew, that was a big one for me. I cried tears over that one. God, let me teach rebels your ways. Not in a position of superiority or head knowledge, but out of my own brokenness and hopefully a heart that was humbled. Unbutton my lips. I used to love that phrase. I still do unbutton my lips. I'll let loose with your praise. Commute my death sentence, God. My salvation, God. Mm, powerful stuff. So I guess my encouragement to you is um, I want you to take this weekend and I want you to, in whatever way you can, I want you to um, take 
uh, Psalm 51, 7 through 15 in the message. And I want you to uh, just mull it over. Read it a few times each day and see what God does in your heart. I love you. Uh, we'll see you this weekend. And uh, God bless you.